Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is Future Be here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing some bright yellow nails. I have a quick question. Is spring here yet? Like, cause I'm ready for spring. Like, <laughs> I'm so ready for spring. So I wanted to do some yellow nails, get some flowers going. Hopefully I can, you know, send some great vibes to the earth so that we can get some warmer weather and spring can hurry up and get here. <laughs> These nails, they're gonna be simple enough. I'm gonna do some yellow ombres on a few of the nails and then on my ring finger, I'm going to be doing um, a clear nail that has flowers on it with some gold foil. My thumb will be the same. I'm gonna use some gold like flower rivets on my thumb and my ring finger as well. All the nails are gonna have flowers on it. It's gonna be really cute, really bright, and I'm just hoping for some better weather. What about y'all? <laughs> So I talked about it in a previous video, but the key in getting this um, yellow to ombre is making sure I'm applying a little product, just very, very little, and then smoothing out the edges. What I really liked about this yellow acrylic is that like, I got it at a beauty supply store, and as you can see, I swatched several yellow acrylics, and the last one is the one that I went with, which is this one. Um, I think it was just it was the brightest one of the bunch and so i will say do not sleep on acrylics you get at beauty supply stores because this one i've had for quite a while the jar is really small but i've had it for quite a while and it was the brightest yellow that i think i have it, it really is a nice color and it blended really nicely. It didn't marble. It's really a no-name brand, but my goodness, it got the job done. <laughs> it also, the opaqueness is nice, you know. Sometimes you'll have to work with colored acrylics that are too pigmented and they will either marble or um, the there won't be enough acrylic actually in it and it'll just it just won't really work out well this one was like a really really well made acrylic and i was very surprised about that it blended very nicely um and no marbling great color the jar is just kind of small that would be my only like downside to it <laughs> So here in a moment, I'm going to start the ombre process. To do this, I'm going to be using Mia Secret Cover Rose. I really like this co color because it is a cover um, acrylic color, but it's kind of like a, a darker pink. It's not really that dark, but it's darker for cover colors. Um, I have darker skin and I feel like this one just really works really well with my skin. I really like Mia Secret for this purpose because I have several cover colors that are really a, a nice range um, of pinks and nudes and as far as affordable acrylics go they have a lot of colors to choose for forum for um things like this you know different people you're doing different people's nails and um not every pink really works <laughs> for every skin tone i really like this cover rose color because it works really well for me also like their cover pink but this cover rose color looks really good with my skin i think and it blended really well into this no name yellow acrylic <laughs> um i i like that as well you know products that work well with other products that you're using i think that these nails came out really well now for applying these flowers sometimes whenever the acrylic is still a little wet you can apply flowers or decals foils by just you know placing them into the still wet acrylic but that wasn't working for me here so I just took out a little nail glue and I'm going to press the flower into the nail glue and then I'm going to hold it down long enough for the glue to dry so that the flowers um, do apply flat. These flowers are really really thin 
there's ones that I got off of Amazon and they're they're nice they work really really well after I finished this nail set I did notice that on my pinky nail I kind of um, ruined one of the flowers and I'm sad about it I don't know how I did it um, but these flowers are really thin and they are delicate you do have to remember that you can't just be like too rough with them because they will tear so I've already talked about, about two ways that you can apply um, flowers. A third way that you can apply them is um, applying a little clear acrylic down to the nail and then placing the flower in it. It was very similar to the first way that I named, but you can use clear acrylic to apply it. You can also um, wait until you have capped and filed the nails and then you can apply them over the top of the nail with a little base coat or you could do it at this stage with some base coat making sure that you cure it afterwards so that it does hold it in place and that it does hold it down for this set of nails i use mainly like pink flowers but what color of flowers do you think would have looked good or would have looked better with these nails i was going to use more yellow flowers but i was like yellow and yellow it would probably blend in a little bit too much so I wanted to go with a different color and I think that the pink worked out really well. I think blue would have looked really pretty too. Maybe purple? I don't know. What color would you choose? Onto this foil. This foil, I got, the jar I have of foil is just like so big. And I say jar, but really it came in a set of three. I have this yellow gold, I have a copper as well as a silver. I got them from Amazon and the jars are just so large that I feel like I could never like get through it. Like there's just so much. <laughs> so if you see tons of nail sets with this um, foil in it, whether it's gold, silver, or copper, it is all from the same set. Oh my gosh, I think I only spent $10 for it. <laughs> Anyways, I broke it up into small pieces and I'm applying it on my ring finger. As I said before, this is going to be a clear nail. I'm going to also apply some flowers on this nail. And then lastly, I'm going to add some gold flower decals. These decals that I found were so cute. I think I thought that they were like individual flowers, but they're actually flower custards. I mean, goodness, they're, they're pretty. They, they really are pretty. I was like excited to use them <laughs> you know nail decals really are my favorite i love them i have a whole, whole lot of gold decals but then recently i found some silver ones and i've been using silver ones lately um i really wish there were some copper ones and more black ones i have a few black ones but not that many if you have found any like obscure like different kind of shaped nail decals let me know i love them i don't really like using stickers too much because stickers are so flat and i really think decals because they are 3d even though they're really small they look 3d and so they add some dimension to the nails maybe it's just me but I like decals. <laughs> if you have any obscure ones or you found any obscure ones or you know of any shops that sell some like really interesting ones, please let me know down below. Thank you. So after I finish laying on these decals, then it's going to be time to encapsulate all the nails. Encapsulating is like my favorite part. What is your favorite part? I just, I enjoy the process. Sometimes I do it with one bead, sometimes I do it with multiple beads. It doesn't really matter. Encapsulating nails is my favorite part of doing nails. <laughs> For me, I really like working with this larger brush as well. This either is either a size 14 or a 16. I don't remember which one and the numbers kind of faded off the brush, but <laughs> um, this is like a 14 or a size 16 brush. Sometimes I work with a size 12 brush, but I really like these brushes because they hold a little bit more monomer i'm able to pick up bigger beads and i'm able to encapsulate with fewer beads um, with a bigger brush but sometimes i do like working with a smaller brush i don't think i ever say how long it takes me to really do a set of nails but this set from um, the start of laying acrylic to finish filing took me about an hour and a half um, I cut the video down and cutting it down 
um, the sections of the video were probably about an hour and a half altogether, and I cut it down to um, the 14 minutes that you're seeing here. <laughs> For the clear acrylic that I'm using today, I am using Mia Secret Clear as well as Mia Secret Monomer and um, Valentino O. Um, drops for the monomer because um, monomer smells <laughs> but um, those are the products that I'm using today this um, acrylic brush I did get it off of Amazon and it is one of my favorites and as you heard earlier um, I did get this acrylic from a uh, beauty supply store there are no nail supply stores where I live I live in Texas um, well, there are some in Texas, but they're not in my region. I would have to travel outside my region to get to one. So I really like getting my products from off of Amazon. Not only does Amazon have really affordable products, but I can get things very quickly. <laughs> and I do like buying from smaller companies as well as, you know, bigger companies. But I really like ordering off of Amazon because I know how quickly I will get my stuff in. And I know I'm not the only person that's impatient, <laughs> especially when it comes to something that I'm really looking forward to getting. I really want it quickly, and I know I can get that from off of Amazon. Ooh, look at that. Just like butter. Those nails look so good. Mm, I'm loving it. What do you think? <laughs> this is before the filing, clearly. So what do you think of the nails? I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, I'm going in with my Melody Susie nail drill here. I'm going to start off with this um, needle bit and then I'm going to move over into a, um, a safety bit that I'm going to be using. Um, I was watching a video the other day and I saw someone using um, a needle bit and a carbide bit to file their nails and I often use my Tornado and my 5-in-1 drill bits to file my nails and but I wanted to change it up I'm like I have these other bits let me use them I used to really enjoy using them well in doing this I realized how much I really do enjoy my 5 one and my tornado drill bits <laughs> um this this was okay it was fine it worked out I was able to use these to do my nails I just had moved on to these other drill bits and I really like how these other drill bits work and I just wanted to go back to them after doing this yeah <laughs> do it works for you but those are the drill bits that i really enjoy um these worked fine they got the job done and i can work with any of the drill bits that i have that i've kind of practiced with but i really like the five in one bit and the tornado drill bit i get both of them off of amazon um one of them's panna and i don't remember what the brand on the other one is but those are the ones that I like Ooh, look at that after the buff buffing your nails it is so important especially when you have these clear nails I had no air bubbles I was so proud of myself no air bubbles yay <laughs> you can really see them whenever you um, after you buff the nails you, you can really see that um, on these clear nails and I did not have any air bubbles that looked great now for the top coat i'm not going to do any like gel polish on these nails just going to top coat and we're going to be all good to go i think these nails came out beautifully what would you have done differently would you have added some bling i thought about adding bling i think that would have taken it up a notch um adding some like gold bling or maybe even some pink bling to go with these pink flowers i don't know um what color bling would you have used Anyways, we're about to get to the final look of these nails. Um, please let me know what you think about this set down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions for me, I would love to know that as well. You can follow me on Instagram at watch underscore the underscore progression. You can also subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. My 100 and something followers are, you know, subscribers. You're much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I'll have another video for you later on in the week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.